So what do you enjoy about the craft of editing? I'm not asking about you as an author. Yeah. I'm asking about the craft of editing. Number one, it, it does force a kind of humility. Because a, you're not the author. There are kind of parameters you have to work with. You have to stay behind the curtain. Yeah. You have to stay behind the curtain and you have to find it in their voice. Uh-huh. So there's a good spiritual discipline exercise in all of that. Yeah. Of, I can of, see that. Of, of, of forcing, I'm going to put myself in their shoes, find their voice. I, I get no glory from this. I'm yeah. trying to make them better on their terms. And there's a sense in which in a pastor, you're doing something similar. Mm-hmm. You're looking at the With congregation the and you're asking yourself, how can every person, I remember you once saying, you know, you think of the church like members of an orchestra. How can mm-hmm. I get that trumpet player, that violin, yeah. and that, that timpani player to be the best version of themselves? The conductor is the most important and the least important yeah, person exa- there. Exactly. Yeah. And in the same way, the editor is like, how can I make you help you be the yeah. best version of yourself yeah. that you can be? Yeah. And so it, it requires a, a bit of, of back and forth conversation, humility but pushiness yeah. you're like mm, you can say that better 